hello everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back my name is Jay I am so glad that you are here with me for another video and this will be a week in my cleaning life spoiler alert I did not get that much cleaning done and sometimes it's like that but I did finish a really big project that was one of my goals for this year so I'll show you guys that and let's just get started To kickstart my cleaning on this day, I wanted to start somewhere easy and that was in the living room because it really just doesn't take much to get this room nice and clean and smelling and feeling good and usually that will motivate me to continue cleaning and like I said I worked on the project which was tiling my kitchen backsplash, something I've been meaning to do for over two years now since I moved in and I finally got that done the next week but this was on a Saturday so I'm just starting off in the living room and I had a little bag of Dollar Tree goodies. I think I just end up showing you guys one thing from that little haul but I'm a big Dollar Tree shopper but I've been trying not to go out to the stores even though shopping is my favorite hobby. You can judge me if you want that is okay. It's I've been this way since I was very young. Me and my mom would go out, I used to call it browsing. We would call it like browsing, which is just window shopping. And me and her were very, very close. If you don't know, she passed away when I was younger, but we were super close. And on the weekend when she was off, we would always go browsing. So I've carried that hobby into adulthood, but I'm really trying to uh, curb my spending. My birthday's coming up in a few weeks and I have a trip planned. So I have to save my money for that. So I'm just trying to spend my weekends cleaning and getting my house in order. This cabinet that I have, Caddy Corner here, this is actually from Urban Outfitters. It is a quote unquote dupe of a much more expensive cabinet from Pottery Barn that there's no way I could afford it, but I could afford this and it was a splurge. It's super, super heavy and the corner I found is the best place for it. I really like it. Unfortunately, it's not decorated, but it is from Urban Outfitters. And when I purchased it, I believe I got it for $800 on sale. And the price has gone up since, but if you're interested in something like that, definitely check out Urban Outfitters and they have a ton more colors now. Before I vacuum, I wanna put all this stuff from Dollar Tree away, but I wanna show you guys what I got, because I got some cleaning products. So I picked up these sponges. I love these. They are thinner than a Scrub Mommy, which is what I'm loyal to currently, but the thinness makes it easy to kind of fold this up and really scrub in the crevices of pots. I bought four packs because I like these so much, and I haven't been able to find them. One, two, three, four. So, and they last a good while. I mean, with how thin they are, they're not gonna last as long again as a scrub mommy, but I really, really like these sponges. There's my little attempt at a haul. Um, I did film everything I bought at Dollar Tree, but then I kind of chickened out. I was like, you know, they're not interested in that. But I've gotten back into watching hauls. I don't know if it's because I myself am doing less shopping, so I'm just, enjoying other people buying things but i remember in the early aughts of youtube when hauls were so foreign i was like what you just watch people buy stuff and at the time it was makeup because that's what i used to be really into could never afford in college to do like sephora hauls or anything like that but i was like you guys just sit around and watch people buy stuff it's so foreign and just insane to me. And now check me out, watching hauls, crazy.
now that we're done in the living room we're moving on to starting the tile in the kitchen like i said this was the project i've been focused on for the past week so not a lot of cleaning has gotten done unfortunately but i am just so happy that this is done i didn't film the whole process because i was pretty unsure of myself and i didn't want anybody to mistake this for a tutorial but i started by just flipping the breaker and swapping the outlets you can see how nasty they were yeah so and i only did this back section of tile i still have my coffee bar and behind the stove to do but those will be a piece of cake compared to this section just with the cutting and the outlets and the curve of the wall but i just used three by six subway tile that i got from home depot nothing fancy and it was only 15 dollars a box and i used about a box and two thirds so under two boxes thirty dollars to get this section of the kitchen done so a really really cost effective project and then i purchased the tile adhesive because I didn't want to buy the, the stuff you buy the powder you got to mix it I wasn't doing all that so I just purchased um, tile adhesive which worked just fine and if I can do it you can do it as you can see I started off very unsure of myself just I was moving super slow not applying enough adhesive because I wasn't sure I did not cover the counters as well as I should have and that's one mistake I made but overall it turned out really really nice and I think you can do it. You can definitely do this. I would highly recommend getting a wet saw. You can rent one from like a Home Depot Lowe's, maybe a tractor supply. I'm not really sure, but I know that's another like big box store. I It just made the job much easier. You can just buy a little tile snapper thing for like 40 bucks, but the wet saw, it's tricky to use and a little scary at first, but it made this just go so much quicker and after the first day i felt more sure of myself and by the third day <laughs> when a professional would have been done i felt really really sure of myself and i only messed up in a few spots and they were pretty well disguised by the grout so it turned out really good and i'll show you guys at the end but this has been my project for the past five days and if let youtube tell it this is a weekend project but it doesn't matter how long it took i got it done and this is day four so before i put the grout in and my kitchen was just it was giving me the ick it was like disgusting i wasn't done yet but i had to i had to get it together because i was just getting so grossed out by this space so i just wanted to get it as clean as i could before i went in with the truly messy part which turned out to be the grout I'm just yammering along I haven't even introduced myself thank you again for stopping by my name is Jay I own this home I live in Maryland and here on my channel I do like cleaning motivation and hopefully more home projects we finally got one going and here I'm just using a scraper to scrape up the adhesive that got stuck to the countertops if you don't have scrapers you should pick up a pack I bought this one from the craft section of the Dollar Tree a while ago but I got like a slightly sturdier pair from Amazon and I use them all the time they're just multi-use and very very useful so I'd highly recommend just having a pack of scrapers in the kitchen and I think you'll find yourself using them more often than not but that's my story I'm just here trying to keep my house together it's a lot of work it's a lot of house um i am single and not quite ready to mingle just happy living single like the 90s show and just really just trying to make it i'm just trying to make it motivate myself motivate you guys to hopefully get some things done around your home
This will likely be the next area that I tile right back here. I'll have to watch a few more YouTube videos because I think I have to attach something to the wall right behind the stove. I have to pull it forward to get like a level, um, like a level surface to put the tile on top of. So I'll have to watch some more YouTube videos before I get it done, but it's a smaller space and only two outlets that I'll change and then cut the tile around. So hopefully it goes well. I really, really, really wanted to do some changing around of the cabinets. I wanted to redo this whole side of the kitchen so that I have more counter space to the left of the stove, but this is not my forever home. Lord willing, I'm able to move somewhere that suits my needs a little better in the future. So I just don't think it's worth putting the money into it. And I've come to terms with that. I really just think this kitchen can be so much more functional, but it's a pretty standard layout, so it doesn't harm anything, but I was just kind of putting off tiling because I wanted to move some cabinets, but it's just not worth it. So I'm just gonna tile it and make it look as beautiful as I know it can um, while I'm still living here. So wipe the surfaces, I just use microfiber cloths that I purchased at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. These are my favorite ones, something about the texture of them. They don't snag on my dry hands. So I really like these microfiber towels and, or cloths. And then I'm just using my crud cutter kitchen degreaser, one of my absolute favorites. And over here is my little coffee bar area. And this will be the last place I tile. I'm not even sure if I want to no no I have to tile it has to match I wanted to get rid of this too and put in like a little seating nook but it's just not worth the money I could put that money elsewhere so that was my quick little getting the kitchen together we will go back into the kitchen later this evening but I wanted to move on into the front room where I always drop all my crap after work and just get some cleaning done in here before it was time to rush off for my gym class I did manage to do some clothes or some laundry over the weekend, although as you can see, it did not get folded or put away, but what's important is that I had clean underwear. So I am getting this laundry folded up and then I did off camera after I finished this, I started a load and like flipped some laundry. So I have even more, but my laundry room is right off of the kitchen. So I just tend to take it out the dryer, plop it on this couch and then fold it and take it upstairs when I get around to it. So I need to start spring cleaning. Have you all started spring cleaning? The weather in Maryland has been wretched. We had our, I get it, we had our fake spring, but then I thought we were transitioning to real spring. And this week it has been cold and windy as hell. So cold. And unfortunately I started like, a, I put a lawn treatment down. I started working outside and then it got too cold. And then it had the nerve to stop raining and I need it to rain so that my lawn treatment is more effective because it has to be like watered in. And it was so cold. I only watered the grass one time and I was like, I'm not doing this. It's 50 degrees out here. So have you started your spring cleaning and what are some things you do when you spring clean that kind of separate it from normal cleaning, if that makes sense. And here after the gym, I'm just going to finish up with the tidying and then move on to mopping the floors and vacuuming.
Something I am proud of myself for doing is I've still been working out at the gym. I take boot camp classes. I do boot camp at least three times a week and then I work out on my own. This week I have not done the workout on my own portion, but I did go to class three times and then I'm going um, when I'm doing this voiceover, it's Friday night. So I'm going Saturday to a Zumba. They're doing their first Zumba class and I've always wanted to try it. I remember when Zumba was like the hot new thing. So four times this week, but I have not been eating the best. I haven't been tracking and I carry a lot of weight in my stomach, which is of course the worst place to carry weight. You know, all that visceral fat is just wrapping up your vital organs. So, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos like what I eat in a day. And it's always these girls, they're like, oh, I'm a size 14 and they look fantastic. Snatched waist, they look great. And I'm like, wow, I'm a size 10 and I look like, sh you know what? I look terrible, like I just, the way that my short little body carries fat is unfortunate, but I'm still working out. I, I'm gonna get back to tracking because obviously I'm not in a good enough spot to eat intuitively because my intuition says I need Oreos after dinner every night, not just two. I'll eat two and then I'll be thinking about another two until I go to bed, so. I've been still been working out, still exercising, not losing weight, but it's only been a week. It's literally been one week. I know that weight fluctuates. I finally got back on my birth control. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so hopefully my body gets back to normal. And um, yeah, so it's been a weird week, but I'm going to get back on it next next week. So update on the watermelon fabuloso that I showed in my last video. I had put it in the thumbnail because it was like something new and exciting I bought. That's maybe why the video did so well, but update, it is fire. So when I mopped this night, I used more of it in my mop bucket and holy crap, it is so good. I've been using the Mr. Clean Moonlight or Moon, yeah, Moonlight scent. And that's a great multi-purpose cleaner. It's good for mopping, but I have been using that for a long time. And this Watermelon Fabuloso is so good. It smells so good. It doesn't smell too sweet and it's not too strong. It just smells good. You know, after you mop, the house should smell good and my floors were not sticky. So if you like Fabuloso, I think you'll really, really like it. It had like the barest hints of floral as well because it still smelled kind of fresh. And I mopped this night. I shut down the kitchen. I took my shower, went to bed. And when I came down, in the morning I was like hmm it smelled good I could I could just smell that it was clean it smelled like I had mopped so highly highly recommend and we are almost done mopping and then you'll see my tile job but this may be a little off topic, but the subscription I use, I pay for Epidemic Sound for my music and it's up for renewal and it costs like, well, I think it's like 120 a year. So if the music is a little weird in my next few videos, please excuse me. I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do, but I'll get something done, but it may be a little bit different. Finished mopping, the kitchen is shut down for the night, and here is my new tile. I can't believe I did this. I used a grout in the color Arctic White, and my countertop and uh, cabinets, unfortunately, are not level, so I leveled based on the countertop, so when you're looking at it, it looks fantastic. I can't believe I did it. I just have to caulk the seams really good, but I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching.